a shoulder mount. So all you need is a sharp knife. Unfortunately, mine's not that sharp because I've been skinning a few animals with it, but it should be a very thin skin, so we'll see how we go. Very much, uh, I pretty much start at the base of the ears. Just run right up the backbone, a little dorsal stripe, which is what we, hit, what we have here. And I generally go halfway down the body. I've got this little gizmo on this knife, it's called a switchblade from the outdoor edge. It's even got a tip on it, it's round, so it won't, it's not going to puncture the skin. Or the stomach, if you're doing the stomach. Looks like it needs a bit of a sharpen as well, but... This is a pretty... Pretty clean cut. It's important when you're doing this, that you don't saw it. You're actually using your knife to keep, to keep a nice clean cut, which will obviously keep the taxi members happy when they sew it back together again. So I've gone pretty much three quarters of the way down his back. And now I'm going to do a circular cut right around the whole circumference of his body. Come towards me here. It's not a good idea to pull the knife towards you, but <clears throat> I've got the rounded edge, so it's not, oh no, it's not going to cut me. I like to do all my cuts first before I start skinning it because then I know when I start skinning I don't need to do any more cuts particularly if you're doing it at night time and then with the legs you just do a circular or a circumference cut around the knee of the, the knee so while I'm here I'm just going to finish this circumference cut Cuts. Just join there. Now the other two cuts we need is a circular cut around there. Just above the knee. Once again, a sharp knife is a great asset. Then I just do a cut down the back of the leg. So about his elbow. So nice one here. Same thing, cut up the back of the leg. This is where the taxidermist will uh, trim and sew. And that's all the cuts required other than cutting the back of his head off. <coughs> the rest is just spinning it. Being a thin skin animal, animal sometimes they can punch, punch the skin off too. But you need to get this meat. Try and leave the meat on the animal. The taxidermist will thank you for that. So when I'm punching I'm just rolling my fist and pushing down to separate the, the meat or the membrane of the animal from the skin. It's always tough around the brisket because obviously that's very hard from where they've been lying down. 
Still got a nice rich required there. And as you can see, we're coming to the shoulder here. We know that we've made the circular cut around the knee. So we're just going to make our way down to that area. Get in behind the leg here, the elbow, inside the shoulder. And then you meet up off your little cut, cut down to. Mm-hmm. 